Hey everyone, Bob WP here, and welcome to Woo Bits, the Do the Woo Audio Weekly Newsletter. As promised last week, WooBits, our weekly newsletter, is now part of the podcast, which means it's like all episodes. You have the option of listening to the audio or reading the transcript. What I discovered is that, yes, there are those who welcome a traditional email newsletter landing in your inbox, and that's cool. But I found also when your content is focused on audio, Well, for me, naturally, it just seemed like a better segue into distributing this content. It also gives me a bit of flexibility in how I present the content. In other words, you won't always have to just listen to me, as you'll learn. Soon, I'll be sharing more of where we're going over the next few months with Do The Woo, which will make even more sense why I'm doing Woo Bits in this format. And soon, you'll be able to subscribe only to Woo Bits podcast channel. Now, around the web, I found a few interesting things, or actually maybe two that I'm going to point out. First off is a new endeavor, and it's called WP Includes, and it's described as a woman in WordPress mentorship scheme. It's a goal to increase representation of women in WordPress boardrooms and leadership. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole site. In fact, I'm going to have you go there because I want you to discover the two amazing women behind this project and what they're doing. So I suggest you go and check out WPIncludes.me. And if I'm lucky, we'll be able to get the founders on an upcoming show soon. Now, on the other side of WordPress, and something more or less I want to bring to the surface again, is Big Byte's latest guide. WordPress for Enterprise. Now, this isn't brand new. It's been out there just a little bit, but it's a guide for prospective buyers. Now, this was compiled in collaboration with some of the world's leading enterprise WordPress agencies. And it shares how WordPress has evolved from a blogging tool into a scalable CMS. Now, You've heard this talked about a lot, especially on dev chat, and we're probably going to be talking about it even more, which is another part of the future of Do The Woo. But it's really a must read for any agency, no matter your size, and also a valuable resource for those who want to start or expand to enterprise clients. In the Transcript, you will find the download or go to Big Byte's site, and I'm sure they'll guide you through to their guides. Now, as far as what's on my mind these days, swag from WordCamps. At WordCamp US, I was a bit more careful of the swag I collected. Now, maybe every piece I picked up wasn't perfect for the environment, but I figure that right now the kind of the criteria I follow is it has to be either sustainable or incredibly useful to me. Now, I really enjoyed my personalized battery pack I got from Jetpack, because I'll be carrying that around and using it on my phone all the time. And there were other stuff as well, but it's really interesting to see how things are changing. And if you've gone to any word camps lately, you may have noticed that going from one booth to the next. Maybe there isn't quite as much. Maybe they're finding creative ways It's not some massive wave of changes right now where it's like suddenly, bam, it's so noticeable, but you can notice enough and I feel like it's getting there. So with that on my mind, was actually brought up in a show next week with Adam Warner from GoDaddy when we were doing a recap of WordCamp US kind of from the sponsorship point of view. I also asked him during that, about the future of swag, which proved to be an interesting conversation with even some breaking news from Adam, what they're doing. So I would suggest you watch for that this coming week. Now, speaking of WordCamp. My name is Nils Fredrik from the agency of Norway called Maximer, or Maximer, as we say in Norwegian. I enjoy WordCamps, yeah, because I come here to meet the 
other Wu expert agencies of the world. I tend to go to uh, Camp Asia, World Camp Europe, and World Camp US. I meet some of the same people everywhere, and I meet new people every time I go to a new place. Yes, that was from one of our shows last week. We had several people that told us not only what they loved about WordCamp US, but also three WordPress origin stories. And then there was another show, very funny, filled with laughter, even had an audience. Believe that or not, that's up to you. But it was from our two hosts, Robert and Robbie. Do you know Robert and I worked 10 minutes on that before this? <laughs> It's hard to corral all, what, 15 people? We did convince them to sit here and listen to us do this short podcast. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, it's so much fun doing Do the Woo. <laughs> yes, it is. We love doing Do the Woo. Actually, in the sponsor hall here in Washington, D.C.'s Gaylord, most super gigantic hotel on earth. No joke. This place is ginormous. I was really surprised how big it is. But it's amazing for this type of, of an event because there's so many places that you can break off to and have uh, little meetings, quick meetings. You can work. There's, and people are co-working. It's actually really cool. I had to go and do some client work, and I sat down at a table with two other people. We were all doing work, but we've been chatting, and it was just everybody was like, this is different. I'm usually just sitting by myself at a computer working. It was funny. It's literally like this podcast. When was the last time we were in person to do a podcast? I, oh, I think the last time was WordCamp S- Europe. State of the Word. Yeah, we did there too. That's right. State of the Word. Oh my goodness, I know. So it's cool to do stuff in person with people, but it is a, a fantastic venue for doing that. It's really large, and there are so many events that are going on. So as you can see, we've been doing a bit of WordCamp stuff. I have a recap myself over on bobwp.com if you want to check that out so between this last week and next week there's been quite a few recaps there's going to be more and even some of the events that were recorded at wordcamp us such as robbie and robert's podcast but we weren't just filled all with wordcampness last week we did push out Agency Chat Live podcast episode with Mitch Callahan from SoCal and Ash Shah from Lightspeed. Do you work exclusively with open source? Yeah, I have pretty much since about 2001. That's when I got introduced to Linux and the club community, Cape Linux user group. So that inspired me back then. I was just amazed at how this group of people would meet up regularly and they'd do talks and they didn't get paid to do it. These Woo agency chats really dive into the things around agencies and their challenges, their wins, building their teams, just plain running a business. So I would suggest, you know, tune into those if that is really of interest to you. And on the topic of keeping your agency running smooth, you may have heard that our sponsor, Avalara, is going to have a conference coming up real soon on tax compliance. Now, don't go away now. I know we all shudder at the word of taxes. But for those of you who do need to deal with it yourself, and or for those who are building shops for clients, you really can have an edge, especially with clients, knowing just a wee bit more about tax compliance and the complications behind it. Plus, you'll have a solid resource Now, Avalara's next conference is going to feature a woo, and I'm going to use this word very strongly, legend in the space, Becca Rice. Becca's been around a long time. She was part of Sky Verge before they were consolidated into GoDaddy, and she brings her woo wisdom through all those experiences. I want you to listen in as Becca shares what she will be talking about at Avalara's next conference. Hi, folks. This is Becca Rice, a product leader at GoDaddy, where I work with thousands of WooCommerce merchants looking to grow their store through omni-channel sales. I wanted to tell you about an upcoming talk at Avalara Next, a conference focused on developers who are looking to automate sales tax for their merchants and clients. At Avalara Next, I'm going to be presenting about the advanced sales tax use cases that we had solved with the WooCommerce AvaTax integration. In my talk, we'll discuss 
how we solved subscription and recurring billing tax needs, how we looked into recalculating taxability of orders for each newly generated invoice or renewal order. We'll look into advanced uses for cross-border duty and tariff calculations and how merchants who sell to more than one country can automatically assess or show estimated duties and tariffs to their customers. And then finally, we look a little bit at B2B use cases or wholesale use cases that can involve customer exemptions and strategies for managing them for your online sales. I would love if you took a look at Avalar next and visited us to hear my talk about how you can manage advanced sales tax uses within WooCommerce. So make sure sign up to join Becca and her session, as well as several of the other sessions. There's all sorts of stuff across the board that will be very informative. You can get a free ticket at avlr.co forward slash next 23. And of course, that is in the transcript as well, that link. Now, before I close out this episode of WooBits, what would WooBits be without a quick recap of what has been going on over at Woo? WooCommerce is changing the release of WooCommerce core beta cycles by shortening them from two weeks to one week. Now, the monthly releases are still slotted in for the second Tuesday of every month, and the RC period remains at one week. It's really an internal adjustment that allows them to streamline the WooCommerce core development process and make sure there are timely releases. And regarding RCs, WooCommerce 8.1 RC1 was released with a couple of fixes. You probably know that in my emailed WooBits, I often did recaps of WordPress core as well. Things going on over at Make WordPress. And I'm working on fitting that in somewhere, so stay tuned on that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first audio version of WooBits. We'll be doing this every week as we are able to. I should promise that it will come on Friday. So again, check out Avalara's next conference. Give you that URL one more time, avlr.co forward slash next 23. And 23 is the digit. So N-E-X-T-2-3. So until the next show, make sure and keep on doing the woo.